So just before I move on a little bit further with um, the pre-shot routine and, and every element of it, um, the aim part of the pinprick requires that you probably use your dominant eye to assess that the exact line of which your club face should be pointing. Um, now there are some pretty crude one, uh, ways to do it. So you can uh, put up a, a little um, hole there. You can look through it, change eyes. Uh, basically you need to start off with both eyes open then shut one, then shut the other, and then you'd find which eye was the dominant eye. But also what you can do is get a little piece of paper, fold it in four, cut the ledge of the corner, and then you can be a little bit more specific, have a nice little hole that you can look through and do exactly the same exercise. Um, interestingly, we actually um, need dominance on one side to be neurologically wired correctly. So if you are right eyed, you should also be right handed and uh, right footed and to some degree, uh, probably uh, right eared. If that wiring is incorrect, then there are ways to, to correct that wiring, uh, but it actually will uh, have the potential to hold you back in some learning um, of both uh, uh, cognitive academic as well as um, physical sports so just a little uh, interesting addendum to that so pre-shot routine let's just talk briefly about what pre-shot routine is for so the whole idea of pre-shot routine is to create a set of systems and some processes that allow you to step up to the ball, feeling confident that you have all of the skills and all of the talent to be able to produce the outcome that you're after, and that the outcome that you're after has been well thought out and strategized and enables you to get up, go to the ball, look at your target, and then let go. And what I mean by let going is not to try. So just take you back a little bit of that so that you can have a little example of, of how this may have already happened for you perfectly. So have you ever uh, been over a putt and you've been actually moving the putter and looking at where you're going and you have this incredible sense that the ball's gonna go in no matter what you do. And then you step up, step over the ball, there's absolutely no trying, you hit it and you have full expectancy of the ball going in the hole and then you look up and the ball's going in the hole. That is what you're almost after every shot, apart from the fact that your reaction to what you just did shouldn't be any different whether the ball goes in the hole or doesn't go in the hole. Meaning that you chose the right line, you had the right stroke, you had the right feelings, you stepped over the ball, you let go, something maybe outside of your control prevented that ball from going in, but it's not gonna change your attitude to what you did. So has mo as most of you have had an example of that, you kind of know the key components. So we the first stage of pre-shot routine is to look at all the information that's out there. And certainly we can become more aware of everything the more that we look and sense. So what's happening with the wind where we are may be different from where the ball's going to go up into the uh, into the air. We may notice it's slightly downhill, slightly uphill. The light is slightly different than the one we had before. The grass is growing with us. The grass is going against us. The ball's sitting down. The ball's sitting up. The uh, percentage of error in front of us. The punishment for a bad shot. Um, 
and and all of these aspects will come into deciding exactly what shot we're going to pick to hit and then we start making practice swings or what I would call full rehearsal swings and I would suggest to you that you do these rehearsal swings almost with your eyes shut because what we're after doing is feeling whether this feels right whether the shot that we've created in our mind to achieve we can achieve with our body a little bit more cognitive then we might notice whether the club is actually hitting the ground that we need to hit it and then we're going to look up imagine the shot how we want it to go um, seeing it in all its entirety and we're going to go much more in depth uh, on this tomorrow and then know that we've got what um, and a book called the 30 second swing the green light and once we have the green light one more look and then let go and in the best of the best of ways accept the outcome so these are just the um, the building blocks the essentials where tomorrow we'll go into all of these aspects uh, with a little more depth and in the meantime thank you for watching and uh, let's stay safe please